Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now this week is all about Twix bars. On Friday I'll show you how to make some very tasty Twix cookies and today we're going to make a really yummy mud cake. Use the concept of a Kit Kat cake but use Twix bars instead. It's bright, it's colourful, it's absolutely delicious so I really hope you like it. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. First up into a pan on medium heat we're going to add in the chocolate, the butter, the sugar, the milk, and the vanilla. Then give that a stir occasionally till the butter and the chocolate has melted and the sugar has dissolved. Then set to one side to cool. Once cool, we're going to add in the eggs, then whisk until incorporated through. Next into a bowl we're going to add in the flour and the cocoa. To that we're then going to add in the chocolate and then gently fold it through. Once that's well combined give it a quick whisk to get rid of any lumps. And simply pour that into a tin that's been pre-lined and pre-greased. Then we're going to pop that into the oven for about 90 minutes. Let it cool in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes before transferring it to a wire rack to cool completely. Measure the height that you want your Twix bars to the side of the cake and then simply cut them to the same size. To make the ganache into a pan on medium heat we're going to add in the chocolate and the cream and stir until the chocolate has melted. Then set the ganache to one side to cool so it thickens up. Pour the ganache over the cake, smooth over the top and push it to the side of the cake so it gently drizzles down. Then smooth over the sides as well. Gently press the Twix bars into the side of the cake, going all the way around. Now they will stay there on their own, but if you'd like to add a little bit more decoration, why not add a bow? Now all that's left to do is decorate the top with your favourite chocolates. I'm using a mixture of the three different types of M&Ms and also some Maltesers. Add them on until the top is completely covered, then set it to one side for that ganache to set completely. The cake itself is deliciously rich and moist topped off with that beautiful chocolate ganache, then encased by your favourite chocolates. Just perfect for a birthday cake, I really hope you give it a go. Thanks again for joining me, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you all next time on Cooking with Karma.